welcome back to We Talk Cricket. India has secured their place in the final of this year's Cricket World Cup. And what a game it was. Honestly, a little bit closer than I thought it would be. But still a very, very entertaining game. Lots of records being shattered. Lots of strong efforts being put in. Like it was all put on the line. Both teams to try and make that final. But at the end of the day, only one team came out victorious. And that team was India. So, without further ado, let's jump into it. We had India batting first, making a mammoth 397 for four. With none other than Virat Kohli notching up his 50th ODI century, surpassing the great Sachin Tendulkar, becoming the first man to ever reach that feat in ODI or won the international cricket. Congratulations to you, my friend. He made a brilliant 117. We are he, sorry, not we. He received solid support from Shreyas Iyer, who made 105. His good form with the bat continues ever since he was included in this India side for the Cricket World Cup. Well done, well done, well done. We did have Shubman Gill retire hurt on 80. Though he came, out, came back out the field, so um, not really sure what happened there. He probably could have come, out, come back out to bat, but he decided not to. But he made a fight in 80 just adding to the runs for India already. Bowling for New Zealand, we have, we had, sorry, Tim Saudi picking up three for 100. Yes, I know it's very expensive on Tim, but hey, the man did his best. Bat, bowling was tough. Now, New Zealand came, back, came out to bat, and honestly, I thought, man, the way India's been performing with the bowling so far, well, they're probably going to like 250. Nope, 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 nope. 327 all out. With a fighting knock from Daryl Mitchell, 134. I think he was really trying to pull off a Glenn Maxwell special right there, just trying to lead his team. Uh, so close, so close. But yes, so far, right? Well done, my friend. He did receive good support from Kane Williamson, who like really tried his hardest to just stay there after the fall of two quick wickets. But man, the destroyer himself. Mohamed Shami, 7 for 57, the first Indian bowler to pick up a 7 week haul in a Cricket World Cup. Just totally led. His line and length, the swing or movement of the ball, really had the batsman thinking twice, and he deserved all 7 of those wickets. So we got a lot of firsts for a few things, but honestly speaking, the team that really wanted to win came out victors, and that was India. Going forward now, they face either South Africa or Australia tomorrow in the final. It's going to be a Sunday, but the next semifinal is tomorrow. So we look forward to see what's going to happen there. You know we're going to come and talk about it, right? So you don't have to worry about anything. But as always, let us know in the comments below what do you think is going to happen now. Will India take it all away? Will they win it on home soil? And will they become an Asian side who definitely deserves to win this after such a hard fought performance. They're 10-0 right now. Can they go unbeaten? Let us know in the comments below because you know we're going to have to talk about it. We're us everyone, but right here on We Talk Cricket. And I'll catch you next time so we can talk some more. Later. Every time you feel this way, remind yourself to fall apart.